Welcome to the Freedom Culture. All right. Yeah, so I said I was going to make a quick video about, um, you know, sharing uh, my maneuvers and what's my opinions and stuff that's been going on with the world. Before all this stuff happened, I was supposed to make a YouTube channel sharing different ways to make passive income, make your own money before all of this chaos happens. But now these these things is kind of like, you know, the challenges to our goals, you know, their challenges to, you know, freedom. <laughs> freedom culture so it's a lot of fear uncertainty and doubt when it comes to making your own stuff making your own uh, money uh, which includes investing it includes uh, taking out debt it includes uh, buying businesses it includes um, buying assets it includes buying and sometimes we're not even sure if we have anything or if we have or if it's a smart thing to to buy stuff right now sometimes we're not sure if we should hold on to cash but however that is the illusion because cash is depreciating every day every second you got money in your bank account you got cash in, in the bank account you're better off just uh um investing in something you know um <clears throat> I got this habit when I know I see a good asset I look at it and I'm like man this is good I'm analyzing it I'm like this makes sense and I still procrastinate on it because I have like this subconscious thing in my brain that just doesn't want to let go of the money fast you know because I'm uh you know I, that's dealing with a scarcity mindset but and then I miss a, a good entry point on a, uh, a particular asset. Like, I remember when uh, Quants jumped up to $100, the crypto Quants. I was, like, looking at it when it was, like, what? It was, like, 70 I was, like, yo, I got a feeling, like, this is going to pop, you know? The very next day it popped. GameStop, I seen that blow up right before my eyes. But anyways, <clears throat> so... It's good to have assets more than it's good to have cash. Now, we are in war. You know what I'm saying? So, it is very, you know, it could be uncertain whether if you should have cash or not. Uh, to be straight into it, uh, we're sitting back waiting on retaliation for Russia. You know, we're just sitting back waiting on to see what he's going to do. Nah, I don't think he's any punk. I don't think he's a punk. Um... <clears throat> So, worst case scenarios, what's going to happen? How is he going to attack so we could get back, so we could get upset and uproar and go over and, you know, beat up Russia? You're right. That's, it's not going to be that simple. But we really dramatically affected their economy. We messed it all up, you know, that joint went down <laughs> you know what i'm saying i don't think it really it's really talked about in the news too much how we affected their economy so pretty much we caused their prices to go crazy with dealing with inflation on our own in self-inflicted inflation we attacked them to cause their inflation so now they're paying for a lot i'll be quite mad if i was rushing you know what i'm saying so pretty much just waiting on um retaliation at this point and it's smart to move accordingly to avoid to get your ass out the way you know what i'm saying so just jumping right into it <clears throat> it came to my mind like yo all right so i'm taking down all of my um uh cryptos offline most of them it's not that easy and i don't i'm you know i'm an economical guy i don't like i really don't want to buy another ledger but i'm gonna have to buy another ledger um Offline wireless is cool, like Atomic. I'm not too much of a fan of Exodus, but uh, Atomic. Um, there's offline wireless that you can use. That's that's cool. Um, I don't know. Me and Exodus, it's a lot of. I don't know. It's like constant changes on there that 
I'm always on support with them, but they are responsive and stuff like that. Hopefully they make some updates and make the process a lot more smoother. I'll make a video about uh, Exodus one of these days, but <clears throat> so I got off my money offline. Now I'm here thinking like, what other kind of exposure do I have to a particular uh, cyber attack? How do I prepare myself? Shit, I'm stocking up on food. You know, the best way to go about it, because if there is a cyber attack, then it's not going to be for long, you know, because that's fucking up with their money. So the best way to go about it is sit your ass in the house and eat, chill, and wait it out. Um, store food. Um, I'm going to make a whole prep video, uh, vegan, uh, plant-based prep, prep video, because that's what I'm doing. So while I'm doing it, I might as well document it. Um, now protecting your assets, protecting your assets, because I don't know how long that's going to be affected. We got a lot of things that's trendy now, like freezing people's accounts and crashing it, uh, crashing the market and a lot of things that, you know, I don't want to be a part of. So I'm trying to make moves accordingly. Um, <clears throat> I went through my stash account. Now, my stash account, here's the reason why <clears throat> everything is not for everybody. You can't follow everybody's lead. Like, um, I'm really, I got a lot of exposure in bonds right now. Now, with the hype going up, with the uh, interest rates going up, which is contrary to the last video that I made when I was think, uh, thinking that they was going to do the quantitative easing thing i mean uh quantitative tightening thing which they're really going to do the quantitative easing thing which is printing more money another one of those one of those things that ray, ray dalio was talking about they just keep it up and it's a lot of psych you know it's a lot of <laughs> you don't know what to believe you don't know what kind of tricks these they're, they're doing you know like one minute is this, and next minute is that. One minute, you know, they're focusing on reactions. So I'm also worried, you know, mindful about my reaction to news and stuff like that. But I have, uh, despite that, I'm diverse. Uh, I have a lot of holdings and bonds. So I'm researching how is this going to affect the bond market. While rising interest rates aren't necessarily bad for stocks, they can be devastating to bond prices. Bond yields and bond prices move in the opposite direction. This chart shows how a 1% rise in rates could impact treasury prices. The longer the maturity, the greater the effect a rise in interest rates will have. Because rising rates are so tough on bonds, many investors may change their allocation in anticipation of rising rates by selling bonds and buying more stock. This flow of funds from bonds to stocks normally pushes stocks higher. Keep in mind, it's not just the fact that rates are rising, but the speed at which rates rise that can influence your investment. My holdings, uh, I use stash and I use park my cash. And my intention uh, for these holdings, I mean, for this uh, account was to just park my cash, just hold it there, make sure it goes up in interest with the minimal risk. Now, um, however, with it being, you know, government bonds and stuff like that, I'm not too, I got to do more research <clears throat> on how this could potentially affect uh, my war because I need this money. I need this money like out right now that's why I said like and you know it's not financial advice because everybody has individual situations yeah my bad it's my colleague saying she's on the way yeah the reason why I'm talking so low is because I'm at work but yeah like I was saying everybody's different everybody got different uh, uh, agendas and uh, deadlines and I need this money for um, uh, I'm purchasing home uh, 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 a home so I need this money for the down payment. Now I'm wary on, you know, I want to make some of my money back because obviously I'm in, I'm in red. But <clears throat> how does war affect government bonds, banks, and all that? Now uh, PIMCO, uh, which is the ETF that's under Park My Cash on Stash. They have a lot of uh, government bonds and a lot of banks. I'm not big on banks neither because it's a cyber attack, you know. I don't know. J.P. Morgan is connected to Ether. Ether is uh, connected to Russia. It's just, uh, I'm not sure about all this, man. But, um, yeah, so that's one thing that I'm going to have to do more research on. And also, 
a good gem that I came across that I'd like to share is go on Robin Hood and type in URA. This is a good gem that I came across that focuses on uranium and that's the new that's the new juice when it comes to energy. You know what I'm saying? Um and this is an ETF that contains CZ, CCJ, I believe that's Kimenko, I'm not sure what's it called. What's that? What's that whole thing? Uh, yeah, yeah, Kimenko. Kimenko. Um, I was thinking about getting an individual stock in uh, Kimenko, but I was like, yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and do this ETF called URA uh, because it gives me exposure to variety and they hold... They have a, a large holding of uh, CCJ anyway, so and then you get dividends. So I think that's more of a safest uh, bet. I'm a real conservative and aggressive investor. I don't know. I'm aggressive in what I believe in. You know what I'm saying? So I'm bullish. So I'm, uh, you know, I go in, but I don't know too much about uh, uranium. It'll be pretty cool to do some research on it, but I think that's a good tip. And um, I'm moving some money in there now wanted to talk about uh Robert Kawasaki's uh, uh reaction to the executive order of um from Joe Biden bye bye bitcoin um prediction uh Biden signs executive order regulating cryptos next fed crypto next all cryptocurrencies seized and folded into government crypto let's go Brandon you criminal, you commie. I don't know. I like whenever I read people's uh, tweets, I can hear their voice while they're reading, while I'm reading it. But um, yeah, you know, Robert Kawasaki, he, he's he's there. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not sure if he's aware of a lot of these other altcoins. Like, uh, yeah, they regulating uh, cryptos, but they got to use the cryptos. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm saying so maybe buy buy bitcoin now bitcoin it's been a lot of shaky material been going uh, shaky activity going on with bitcoin for the past um 10 years i mean uh the the tether shit connection like what's up with that like what's up with every time uh, tether prints uh a whole bunch of um money they print digital money the bitcoin price rises up what's up with that there's a lot of insecurity going on with uh uh tether sub with it so um russia they've been making moves on bitcoin um before all this like i covered a video uh where he was i was following russia buying gold uh buying cryptos losing himself for the dollar this was months ago. This is orchestrated. He wasn't just sitting in La La Land. He expected some type of sanctions and something, something to go against him. Um, <clears throat> so Robert Kawasaki, he 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 knows. You know, he's I love him. You know what I'm saying? That's my guy. He, he's, he's the reason why I think the way I do. Uh, however, I'm not sure if he's exposed to altcoins. Like uh, the way the narrative is going, you know. <clears throat> Bitcoin and Ethereum has not been cleared as securities or not. So um, they're going to have to go through the ringer that XRP has gone through. Now you see every nook and gritty that they push XRP um, uh, into. You know what I'm saying? Every nook and gritty that we had we had to cover. We had to like check everything on Ripple. They're gonna do that with uh, Bitcoin, and we might find out who the heck is behind Bitcoin. Actually, even if um, I believe Bitcoin was made with good intentions, but they got they got messed with. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna see what's up. But I don't I don't doubt Bitcoin. You know what I'm saying? I think Bitcoin is a lifer. Ethereum is questionable. I don't know. Like who's those gas fees going to? You know? But yeah, the way the narrative is looking, it's looking like, yo, <clears throat> XRP might flip Bitcoin. Uh, problem solution situation, Ripple beats the case. Okay, he's a good guy. He's a, he's a clean guy. XRP, Ripple, beautiful company. Uh, let's start adopting them for our CBDC enrollment. Uh, we see how they did with uh, Tringlo, uh, the... 
Um, they just launched their uh, uh, cross border, border payment system um, over there on the east side of the world. We we see how it's working and stuff like that. It's stupid potential, and those are the things that I'm aggressive on. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so definitely want to be <clears throat> bullish on uh, ISO 222 cryptos. Uh, pretty much, we've been pretty uh, much pre predictive programs for a cyber attack we're just sitting back waiting for a cyber attack like it's like we're welcoming a cyber attack um and ultimately i feel and also with the executive order and they're talking about the cbdc's in my opinion the only solution to everything is going to be cbdc's now what i like to say is the iso 222 cryptos is the hood is under the hood of the C that is the infrastructure under the hood of CBCs and how that's going to work and that's XRP, XLM, Algo, um, IOTA. Uh, and yeah, I said all that to say because once they cut off the switch, they're behind the scenes, they're going to be switching from the SWIFT payment system, the old monetary system, to the new quantum financial system, which is the cryptos that I just mentioned. And that's going to go up in value. But who's to say how long that switch is going to take, how long that duration is going to uh, dwell out? That's why I say stockpile on food. Cash might be uh, worth something during that very moment in time. So uh, stockpile on food and just stay out the way. Because they say... Russia will ultimately connect them, disconnect themselves from uh, the global internet by March 11th. It's now March 12th, no, 13th. Nothing happened. I was uh, a little shaky, concerned about uh, what could happen um, because of, um, you know, if they if they disconnect from the global internet, who knows what all, uh, ripple effects that could happen, that could roll out. So. I was concerned a little bit, but another uh, headline just dropped that Russia's denying that it's about to cut itself from the global internet, but it's acting a lot like it. So, like I said earlier, there's a whole lot of wishy washiness. You don't know what to follow. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's a whole established operation out there, established military branch on, from both both sides that focuses on psychological operations. You know what I'm saying? So their branch is about messing with the heads of people. So we don't know what to follow. So what I do is just follow common sense and we could follow history. You know, everything that we're dealing with right now is the 1900s all over again. From the from sickness to economy to war and who came out paid during those days it was the Rockefeller, the Kennedys and the Rothschilds you know what I'm saying but um, I'm sure I wanted to touch on something else but I didn't mean for this to be a goddamn 20 minute video I'm working on making the videos a lot more shorter but just wanted to put something out there, share my thoughts my views and all that peace, love and respect and uh, get your money Enjoy your blessings and uh, prepare for the worst, hope for the best. Don't panic and don't stress. Later.